to loss or expenses, whatever. For example, making the vendor payment, making the vendor payment, uh, vendor invoice, thousand rupees, and I I want to pay the vendor thousand rupees, but I paid uh, nine nine uh, example nine nine four is equal to this minus this. So this is six rupees. What happened? I want to pay the vendor thousand rupees, but I paid only nine hundred and ninety four. Difference is six rupees. So this six rupees loss or gain income. What is this? Gain, sir. Gain. Gain. I want to pay thousand rupees, but I paid only nine hundred and ninety four rupees. The six rupees is gain or income, whatever. Gain or income. So now, for customer side, how much value you are going to sacrifice? For vendor side, how much value you are going to sacrifice? Customer means incoming payment, how much value you are going to sacrifice? Out, outgoing payment, how much value you are going to sacrifice? Very simple, everyone. Tolerance means here we can set up one limit. Any payment differences up to that limit, system can accept it. More than that limit, system cannot accept it. Clear? Clear so far? Yes, no, okay? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Yes. So this is the one, everyone. This is the now. Note it on one, one note, everyone, for your understanding purpose. Note it on one note. For your understanding purpose. Tolerance. Tolerance. Means. During the configuration. During the configuration. Is my voice is audible, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. During the configuration, during the configuration, as per my our client confirmation. As for our client confirmation, we want to set up one limit. We want to set up one limit value or limit. We want to set up one limit. Any payment differences, any payment differences, put comma and note it down. Any payment differences up to that limit, up to that limit. System will going to sacrifice. More than that limit. More than that limit. System cannot allow to sacrifice the value.
Next slide, note it down. Types of tolerances. Types of tolerances. GL tolerance. GL tolerance. GL tolerance. Employee tolerance. Employee tolerance. Vendor tolerance. Vendor tolerance. For customer tolerance. Everyone, can you please note it down these four points, everyone, for your understanding purpose? You can write from here. You can write from here. Uh, you can write from here. In this activity, you can define different amount limits for your employees. Note it on this area. These four points you can write everyone for your understanding purpose. One, two, three, four. These four you can write. One, two, three, and four. Note it on this. Then completed. No, Done, everyone. Give, so give me a minute. Yes, done. Only that four line, four lines, everyone. Later, you can read remaining things.
Done, sir. Done. Ah, wait, one minute, one minute. Done, sir. Not even fast, sir. Done. Yes, done. Hmm. Done. <laughs> so everyone, concentrate, everyone. Now I want to configure. So vendors and customers will come during the accounts payable and accounts receivable. Now you have to set up the configuration. Now in the setup configuration, define tolerance group for the GL accounts, define tolerance group for the employees, and assign tolerance user to tolerance group. So you want to configure these three steps, everyone. So how to configure this? Very simple, everyone. Concentrate here, my dear students. Listen careful. So define tolerance group for GL account. You just double click on this execute button and click on your new entry. Click on your new entry and enter the company code. What is your company code? RM11. Here, don't enter any information in the group. We are maintaining at company code level. So RM11 tolerance group tolerance. Tolerance. Here, everyone, um, here, debit posting and credit posting. Everyone, here I said one thing, everyone. What information I said, for example, let it be here. For incoming payment, loss or gain, everyone, incoming payment, you said loss or expenses. Loss or expenses means debit. Gain or income means credit. So here, you can ask your client. Your client will be tell you for incoming payment, how much limit? For outgoing payment, how much limit? In the practicing purpose, 10 rupees or 1% of invoice value, whichever is less. 10 rupees or 1% of invoice value. Press enter and save. Don't maintain at group level. We are maintaining at company code level. Okay. Enter your company code and write the description and maintain the percentage. Maintain the percentage. Press enter and save for GL tolerance. And click on your next. Next, everyone. Next. One more company code we have RM12. Here RM12 tolerance. 10 rupees or 1%, 10 rupees or 1% of invoice value, whichever is less. Click on your save. Maintain the limit. The next one, next one, everyone. Click on your save. The next one, next step. Next step. What is the next step, everyone? Next step is define tolerance for employees. Define tolerance for employees. This is also one story. For example, everyone, for example, for example, now you are the consultant, everyone. Now you are the consultant. As a consultant, you want to control the employee. Yes or no? You want to control the employee, means end users. You want to control the end users. How you can control the end users? For example, for example, um, example I'm telling, example I'm telling, I am Deloitte employee as a consultant, as a consultant. And we are implementing RM group of company, group of company, everyone, RM group of company. So, Example, your client will be tell you, your client will be tell you how to control the employees. For example, everyone, for example, concentrate here, concentrate everyone. 
there is an a um, accountant example end users means accountant senior accountant like that and senior accountant senior accountant and manager like that managers okay. senior accountant manager so my dear students my dear students concentrate here if accounting entry value if accounting entry value up to fifth up to fifty thousand up to fifty thousand accountant men can take care i am telling one scenario accounting example accountant want to take care if accounting entry value up to fifty thousand accountant can take care fifty thousand to ten lakhs senior accountant will respond 10 lakhs to 10 crores 10 lakh to 10 crore accounting entry value 10 lakh to 10 crore manager is responsible and more than 10 crore take care by the ceo directly ceo can involve and he can deal the all the process so this is the level of controlling employees controlling for example, everyone, I will tell you different scenario. I will tell you different scenario. Example, example, everyone. I went for shopping. Example, let it be example. I went for shopping. Uh, any any shop, shopping mall? Example, lifestyle, shopper stop, anything. Uh, let it be I went for shopper stop to purchase some clothes and all. Example. My friend is the salesman. My friend is the salesman. Maybe he can, for their limit, for my friend, my friend limit, maybe he can allow to sacrifice up to 2% or 5% of uh, things. Uh, up to, maybe I can get 100 rupees of discount. They can excuse them. Okay, let it be 100 rupees going to sacrifice. For example, my my friend is the manager, supervisor or manager. Then I can get more sacrificing the value. My friend is the senior manager. Then I can get some more value to get the sacrifice that people. Example, my friend is the CEO of that uh, uh, you know shopping complex, CEO. Maybe if CEO said, then I can get more and more Sometimes I am not required to pay also. Are you agree or not? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. yes, sir. yes, sir. yes. So this way you have to control the employees. So that thing you need to configure here. Of course, for employee level, we are not configured now as a finance guy. We are configured at company code level. For all the employees, how much value like that you can make. In case each employee level, then you can maintain multiple tolerance groups. Then you can assign to respective users. Next, to, next is assign user to tolerance group. Your user ID, SAP logon user ID is there. Huh? That limit you can assign to specific user. But not we are not maintaining at user level. We are maintaining at company code level. This can be reflected for all the employees. So how to maintain? Any questions, everyone? Following? Following, everyone? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So next one. Define tolerance group for employees. Define tolerance group for employees. Very simple, everyone. And this one, define tolerance group for employees. Define tolerance group for employees. Click on your new entry. And here, don't maintain at the group. We are maintaining at company code level. Example, uh, company code RM11. Amount for a document. Like 50,000, 1 lakh, 10 crore, like that. Example, I've taken some big amount you can take. 
amount for document means accounting entry amount for accounting entry maximum how much accounting entry is responsible amount for open item outstanding amount how much value you are going to give the outstandings open item is a big topic it will come later maximum value how much limit you can take one big limit also maximum outstanding how much is possible to give your client will be tell you then maximum cash discount maximum cash discount how much you are going to give maximum 10 percent then amount sacrificing 10 rupees or one percentage whichever is less 10 rupees or one percent whichever is less press enter and save i'm next one next one everyone i'm repeating once again listen careful listen listen careful everyone you just double click on this execute button click on your new entry so company code rm12 and per document per outstanding and here maximum discount and here this one enter and save now everyone for example if you maintain at employee level sir i don't want this is applicable in case if you are not maintaining anything in the group if you maintain only in the company code so it will be reflects this value reflected for all the employees in case if you maintain in the group if you maintain any four digit here if you maintain any four digit in the group that four digit next step assign user to tolerance group if you double click on assign user to tolerance group click on your new entry what is your user sap user username and password enter that username here you can assign the tolerance group whatever you maintain there if you assign that will be reflected for specific employees okay for example if you maintain at company code level it can be applicable for all for example what is your username everyone it's a king right king or something king and some don't enter any information here why because we are maintaining at company code level we are not maintaining at user level in case if you maintain user level assign the king and assign anything follow my instruction everyone don't maintain at user level maintain the value at company code level click on your save in case if you want to maintain at employee level different different employees for different different limits so create multiple tolerance group then here you can assign their uh, employee username and tolerance group if you maintain at company code level simply you can assign username and don't assign any group click on here save and back yes clear everyone clear yes no following yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. and uh, m vendor tolerance and customer tolerance will come accounts payable and accounts receivable questions questions please ask the questions now time to ask the questions Sir, we need to create the tolerance group. Hmm. Group yes. we need to create or uh, hmm. any default? You have to create. Don't maintain the group. Maintain the company code. There is no standard one. We have to create. Standard so, also there, but uh, don't use the standard for triple zero one. This is the tan standard also there. Standard company code. But don't use the standard. You can create your own. There is the path. One same means you are not seeing my system seeing I, then why you are asking path my dear student no, this no. is the path na? create tolerance group new group which group which group you are asking i mean the any group like uh, field which field what question you are asking i did not get actually okay we'll talk later 
not later tell me now no problem no, i'm telling uh, if uh, as in uh, open the different tolerance group for employees anything uh huh okay so the left side tolerance group is there right we need to create that new entries and like that that's what don't means. maintain any information in the group maintain in the company code okay the group means set up here any four digit assigned to specific employees it will be reflected for specific user and uh, if you are not maintaining any four okay. digit here maintain only company code it will be reflected for all the employees for specific company code That's okay Next question. Sir, in real time also tolerance group is maintained at company code level. There is a no real time. There is no non real time. Whatever I am telling now, that is real time. That's it. It's depend upon the client to client difference. Some client max, uh, maximum clients followed by the company code level. One or mm. two clients followed by the employee levels also. Better you can follow company code level. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Next question. Next question, please. Yeah. Okay. Vendor so, and customer will ah, go ahead. Uh, so go ahead the, uh, in the tolerance definition, you said that uh, the when the limit is exceeding the, I mean, when the payment is exceeding the limit, uh, the system will not allow to sacrifice the value, which mm -hmm. means uh, it the payment becomes an open item, right, sir? Uh, not like that. It will going to clear, ma'am, actually. The, that uh, okay. value will going to clear automatically. Okay. We will tell you okay. later, okay, during the okay, document sir. entry posting. Let it be, let's okay. configure now. Okay, sir. Thank yeah, you, sir. that will going to clear, actually. Yeah. Mm. Best example, everyone. I can give you best example. Uh, here, everyone, here what happened? The best example I can give you. In the employee tolerance example, uh, company code RM11. So you try to understand here. Here, cash discount per line item 10% I can give. So what happened? For example, what happened, everyone? Your discount, if you give discount 2%, system is allowed. 3% system is allowed. Discount, discount, 3% this system is allowed. Even if you give 10%, system is allowed. If you try to give the discount more than 10%, 15%, system cannot allow. In the coming classes, one topic will come. Payment term discounts. That time we can practice. You can give, uh, try to give the discounts more than 10%. Now, system cannot accept it. So here we are setting one limit. Up to that limit, system will going to sacrifice. More than that limit, system cannot sacrifice. We are controlling the employees. Maybe you owner is there or not there, but system can control. It's a robo. You want to give the instruction to the system. Clear, everyone? Understood what I'm telling? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, everyone, the next one. Next one, uh, put the heading of exchange rates. Put the heading of exchange rates. Note it down, everyone. Aslam joined, huh? Aslam. Aslam, are you there? Yes, yes, yes sir. I'm there. Following, my dear student. Yes, yes, sir. Manisha, are you there? Yes, sir. Following, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One second, everyone. Please note it down. Check exchange rate type. 
define translation ratio for currency translation. Just write the heading, everyone. And enter exchange rate. Are you writing everyone? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, yes sir. sir. Very good, very good. Enter exchange rate. Note it down. Define maximum exchange rate difference per company code. Done, sir. Not it on last one also. Company code global parameters. Done, sir. Done. So, everyone. Our target is maintain exchange rate. What is meant by exchange rate, everyone? Exchange rate means what is meant by exchange rate? Currency exchange rate. I think. Currency exchange rate. Okay. Good. Can you elaborate it? Explain more. Anyone? One currency to other country currency. One country to other country currency. Yes. So let it be. Uh, so these steps we'll see tomorrow. Otherwise, it will become a overload. Okay. Okay, everyone. Can I discuss tomorrow or can I continue? As your wish. Okay. We'll discuss tomorrow, everyone. Okay. Tomorrow okay. we have the class, everyone. Tomorrow is a Saturday, na? Saturday we have the class. Why? Why we have the class? Last time this week I gave one uh, leave or holiday, or whatever. Which we when when class cancelled? Which day? Day we published. Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, na? Mm. So that is the reason I can take the class on Saturday. Maybe maybe I can take the class on Sunday also. Why? Because I can give one more holiday on Monday. Why? Why Monday? Monday and Elections. 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 Very good, everyone. Okay. Everyone, wherever you are, go your hometown. Must vote, everyone. I don't want to tell you can vote this party, that party, that party. No, I'm not interested to tell. Kindly vote, my dear students. Whatever party you are like, Whatever person you, do, you can like, go and vote. Even if you are not anybody, at least you can vote on NOTA. Okay. So, uh, please everyone must go and vote. Don't lose your vote. Okay. And for example, I am repeating one second, everyone. If you, if you go to, few, I mean, 100 years back, 200 years back, some maybe, I mean, Britishers time, and some Mughals times and if you go some years back 
so we want to sacrifice i mean the our grandparents our our uh, generation uh, old generations they are sacrifice their lives they are sacrifice lot of things to our country but in this generation you are not sacrifice anything everyone no simply you can vote for right person everything will going to country out of uh, venkat sir uh, class is completed sir if you have any other work you can uh, sign out okay venkat krishna please uh, no. for example everyone so you are not required to sacrifice anything only you can do your vote everyone if you vote right person then our country will going to grow and uh, yeah so okay my dear students as a faculty i am requesting every student go and vote for our nation for our uh, next generation for our country okay okay everyone okay bye we'll sure, meet tomorrow sir. thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.